we've been working, as you know, to modernize some liquor laws in British Columbia. One of them that's sort of been a big headache for a lot of people is that lick caterers couldn't be licensed to go and do business with their clients. So let's say you were having a wedding in a hall somewhere in British Columbia. You and your fiancé could actually go get a caterer that would be able to do the food. And then you'd have to go get your own special occasion license in order to actually bring the liquor to the facility. Have somebody with a serving and right certificate to be able to do that. And then the caterer could come and they could, you could hire bartenders, whatever, but you would have actually people from your wedding party running around picking up liquor and bringing it to the hall so you could actually have your wedding, which is pretty nonsensical when you think about it. And so we've been consulting. Last year when we talked about this, we said we'd go to work with the industry. So I want to first of all thank the Food and Restaurant Association, the Hotel Association, all their partners, all the caterers working with us to consult because sometimes it's just like snap your fingers and people think you can get the perfect law and sometimes if you do it too fast you just go back and have to fix it. So in this particular case there's been extensive consultation with the caterers in BC so that we can get to where we are today. So today you know caterers can now apply to get a liquor license for their operation to fully meet the food and beverage needs of their clients. They'll be treated like just like any other licensee, same inspection rules, what have you, but they can actually now give full service. And this is going to change this, this portion of the hospitality industry quite a bit. It also allows the hospitality sector to complete more effective uh, destination, location, pleasure, enjoyment for their own clients, which is really, I think, important. But it also gets uh, previous gets away from some of the stuff I just mentioned, where people had to go get their own license, they had to take a serving at right course, they had to purchase and transport the liquor, the caterer couldn't bring it with them. They had, to, they had to accept the liability for the liquor, so they also had to make sure the insurance was there to satisfy whatever hall or facility they were using. Today, as of today, catering companies can apply for that liquor license, and they will be able to follow the same rules, as I said, as other liquor licensees. The events will be subject to inspection as normal, like any other liquor event, and all the other rules around it. But it does, help, it does make a big change for the service to clients. And the other big thing is, is it's not just about the caterers that are off-premise, but also allows hotels and restaurants that don't want to do catering off-premises or have catering, they'll be able to do it now within their license. So if they have an off-site job, they can go do it and they can do the liquor for their clients. And that's what this is all about. So I'm really pleased to be able to do this today here, where it affects people in the industry who are here to listen and see it. But as of today, go get your liquor license and let's change the business forever.